am in Piggly Wiggly. And I wanted to show y'all some of the things that I see on sale. I mean, just to give you an idea of some things you may want to look out for and yours. I don't know when y'all going to get this video. But just look at some things that they may have on sale in your area. What to look for, whether it's on sale or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me show you this real quick. This is real good. Four for five. These are um, pork and beans and tomato sauce. 16 point... Um, no, 16 ounce. Okay. Then they have like their sweet peas and corn and stuff like that. Um, food club, five for five. So those are good stock up prices. I don't know by the time y'all get this video if it'll still be that. But like I said, it's just to give you some ideals. Okay. Like they got their Kraft mac and cheese, five for five. A dollar each. So when you can catch stuff like that, if you got a Piggly Wiggly, a good one in your area, then yeah. Coming up here. Um, and looking at a couple things they have, they fresh produce and whatnot. They got peanuts, green peanuts, three ninety nine a pound. Um, those are the ones for boiling, but I got some at home, so I don't need none right now. Um, and this is some of their fresh produce right here. Um, zucchini, squash, okra, stuff like that. They do have some of their corn. I think I am going to get some because I think. I need more um, for what I'm having. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, this. Their music is so loud, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep this scene. <laughs> I don't even know. Y'all, so I ended up not getting the corn because I ended up seeing like a little fur on some of them, so I don't even want to take that home. I got a, I got some at home, should be enough. Um, but let's go right here and look at what they got on clearance. Not too much of nothing as far as clearance, but you know, I always come and check it no matter where I'm at. Not nothing catching my eye, nothing saying, Yes, yeah, get me. <laughs> They got little piggly wiggly cups, but yeah, nothing catching my eye. All right, y'all, so I'm in the meat area. So let me just go ahead and tell you what I'm doing. I am making a junk in a pot for a celebration, okay? So I don't normally do all this, but back home, we call it the junk in the pot. And we put, um, we have this place called Wilson Meat House. It's located, well, I'm from Crystal Springs, Mississippi, so Gallman area is maybe about five, ten minutes, if that. But they have a slaughterhouse, Wilson Meat House. And we would go there and get um, the real, real country sausage, okay? And you'll put neck bones, pig feet, ham hocks, potatoes, corn, sausage, all in one pot and cook it. So that's what I'm making, a junk in a pot. But because everybody is not eating the pig feet, I'm going to cook the pig feet by themselves. If I was back home, it would go in the pot, okay? But um, we got some neck bones. And we're figuring out the situation for the ham hocks. Um, these are the ones they have. Um, they look different than what I would get back home. Back home, they they they're not cut like this, but they are ham hocks. So, try to figure out which ones that um, we want to get or whatnot, and then just kind of go from there so yeah a junk in the pot <laughs> and it's a celebration y'all will find out what i am celebrating okay y'all will find out what i'm celebrating it's a big accomplishment so we just get in the food for it so cut this radio down <laughs> so let's up out of there i'll show y'all what all was actually got when i get home but now in this mcdonald line getting something that i shouldn't have but i'm treating treating myself treating myself um getting the kids some ice cream and i'm going to get this banana 
Kit Kat Banana Split McFlurry from McDonald's. Y'all know I gotta try it. You know I gotta try it. You know, and I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes too. I don't need this dairy because I'm dairy free. But hey, moderation. Remember I told you moderation. So I'm gonna have it. Because I've been having the um, <clears throat> Talante Talante dairy free is what I've been eating at home. So I've been sticking to the dairy free. Um, but yeah, I'm about to have some of this ice cream. I just got this. We just left the McDonald's. Look, it's fresh out the little whipping thing. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, look. And look how far down it is for $3.99. Everything I tell you, man, is just. Don't nobody care about the quality no more. They ain't try to smooth it and make it look more or uh, anything. Just. And they didn't even feel it. They didn't even feel it. Okay. Look at this. When I take it, cover up the hole. I cover up the hole, okay? That's what I got. Let me see. Let me see. Hope y'all can see what I'm talking about. I ain't ate none of it yet. I ain't tasted it or uh, anything. That is the way they gave it to me. So if you can see through here, it's like right here. So let's see, this is the banana, the Kit Kat banana split um, McFlurry, okay? This is what I ended up getting for the junk in the pot. Um, we got some, well, this is what we ended up getting. Some ham hocks. Got three packs of ham hocks, okay? Uh, one pack of pig feet, 
two pack of neck bones and gonna put some sausage in it and we're gonna have some ribs um some ribs so that's but this is what we got from Piggly Wiggly along with um I didn't want to do the sack potatoes I wanted to do something simple so I got these I got um one two three five bags of these um potatoes to pop in and some Louisiana hot sauce 